Hello, welcome to Bragway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Juvenal Habiyarimana. Juvenal Habiyarimana was a Rwandan politician and second president of Rwanda, nicknamed Kidani, which means invincible in the local dialect. He served longer than any other president in the history of the country, from 1973 until 1994. He was labelled a dictator who won three re-elections unopposed in the last slide of 98.99%, 99.97% and 99.98% in 1978-1983 and 1988 respectively, in an atmosphere of suspected electoral fraud. During his presidency, his party, National Revolutionary Movement for Development, the MRND, was alleged of forcing the people chant and dance to the rhythm put together with his names at political occasions while the masses were said to be in extreme poverty. Born on March 8, 1937 in Ginsei to a wealthy Hutu family, Habiyarimana attended the College of St. Paul in Bukavu, Belgian Congo, graduating with a B.Sc. degree in Mathematics and Humanities. In 1958, he went further to Louvanium University Medical School, but a year after the Rwandan Revolution, Habiyarimana left for the officer training school in Kigali. He graduated on top of his class in 1961, becoming an aide to the major commander of the force in Rwanda. Because of his qualifications and attractiveness, he enjoyed rapid promotion. In 1963, Habiyarimana was appointed head of Rwanda National Guard, promoted to the rank of Major General, and two years later, he was appointed Minister of National Guard and Police. He seized power in a coup on July 5, 1973, while he was the Army Chief of Staff against President Gregor Kaibanda. Two years later, he formed the MRND as the country's only legal party, and in 1978, a new constitution was approved in a referendum. That same year, Habiyarimana was elected to a five-year term as president. He was re-elected in single candidate elections in 1983 and 1988. Being a Hutu himself, he got the support of both the Hutu and Tutsi at the beginning because he was perceived as a neutral leader, but later lost the support of the Tutsis when his policies started to be seen as one-sided. Even within the Hutus, Habiyarimana was alleged of favoring those from his household over others. That created a crack in the war of his government, paving ways for the invasion of the Rwanda Patriotic Front RPF, from Uganda, the rebel army led by Paul Kagame, who had been instrumental to Museveni's presidency. As an absolute leader, the MRND party and the government were one. All policies of the state were passed down to the local administrative units, particularly that of Umuganda that required every Rwanda to work half a day per week on infrastructural projects. In 1990, because of mounting pressure from within and outside the country, Habiyarimana agreed to allow the formation of multiple parties and parties like the Republican Democratic Movement, Social Democratic Party, the Liberal Party, and the Christian Democratic Party were formed. Shortly after the formation of those parties, Paul Kagame's led rebel group invaded Rwanda through the Ugandan border. Habiyarimana's Rwandan forces, joined by the French and the Zarian army, could not overpower the rebels. Hence, a ceasefire was reached through the Arusha Accords. Habiyarimana's plane, which was carrying him, President Cyprian of Burundi and others, were shot on April 6, 1994, near Kigali, Rwanda, killing all the people on board. That led to ethnic tensions resulting to Rwandan genocide, where about 1 million Rwandans were killed by extremists. He married Agathe Kazinga in 1962. She was said to be very influential in Rwandan politics and was inducted by the Minister of Justice in the genocide. What's your take on Habiyarimana as a Rwandan politician? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.